What's up y'all, welcome back to Alex Roberts Fishing. Today we've got a fun one, We're back on Gunnersville. This is the fourth day of competition on this lake, third day. Um, got a club tournament today with my buddy Trick, Matthew Hebert. Uh Should be a fun one. I don't get to do as many of these club events as I like to in the past few years, but I'm doing media for the club this year, so I figured I would kind of make a commitment and show up for as much as I could. So today should be fun. Hope you guys enjoy another day on Gunnersville. Look at it. Roadside service. Excellent. Please stop raining. Bigger? Yeah. Got a key. It's all right. I got him. On how to keep. Yep. Number one going in the box. If you care to watch the video, you'll see. But I we watch uh, all your videos. I know, but I'm just saying. I ain't watch that. Little one. Oh, I lost it. Little one. Better break again? Yeah. Little one. No. There's one. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! 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 Yeah. What's up, bro? That's why you fought so hard. Because I pinned his mouth shut. Huh? You're mean. Sorry, buddy. I think that'll keep. No? Nope. Nope. No, he will not. Let's triple check him. Come on. Nope. nope. 14 and a half. Thanks, buddy. God, it's like a quarter. Hip squeak. Giant baby. <laughs> oh, now I feel better. That one might be smaller than the one I caught. Oh, it's about the same size. Oh, come on. <laughs> Got one? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It was so big, I didn't know if it was grass or a fish. Yeah. Little one, little buck. You missed. There we go. Little one. Little 
monster. Thanks, buddy. I got you. That's a nice one, dude. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> nice job. Look at that thing. You guys out there. <laughs> That's a big one, dude. <laughs> Look at that one. You get that one, Oh, yeah. Can I put this on an inline roll? I don't think so. <laughs> he might eat it. That's the point. <laughs> No. Short. Short. Why? So we fished through that area pretty heavily and didn't really have any more success. So we decided to run over to the area behind Goose Pond, kind of around the campground, as you guys can see here. Uh, I had to take the volume down on these clips just because we were playing some music in the boat and I don't want the YouTube copyright gods to strike me down so you'll just have to enjoy my voice for some of these clips but I'm going to talk a little bit about why I fish a club, uh, what it's done for my fishing journey as we go through these clips. So if you guys don't know, I got into tournament fishing about four years ago. Right in the middle of 2020, um, I was looking for something to do. Work situation was fluid, and I wanted to jump into tournaments. So I asked my uncle, uh, hey, how, sh how could I get into tournament fishing? You know, this thing looks awesome. I, I didn't really know much about it. So I asked, you know, what the best path was to get into fishing, and he told me to find a club. So I did some looking around in Birmingham where I lived at the time and found the Birmingham Bass Club. Uh, joined in, got acquainted with some of the members, fished a few tournaments, and really I learned a lot of what I know about fishing today, whether that be techniques or areas or lakes, whatever it is, I learned a ton from all these guys, including the guy I'm on the boat with here, who I have a winning streak in his boat of three tournaments now, spoiler alert. But um, I've just learned a ton from these guys in the club, and that's what, kind of what I want to talk about, uh, is joining a club is not just about the fishing tournaments, but it's also about the fellowship. So in Birmingham Bass Club, you know, it's a really good group of guys who've been, some of them have been in the club for a very long time, some of them knew there's a good mix, co-anglers, boaters, there's a good mix of those as well. And really, these are the guys who encouraged me to jump in the Bass Nation, and they are the guys who have encouraged me all along to, you know, jump in BFLs, jump in Toyota Series. They've been really great mentors for me and, and helped me learn and encouraged me to continue on in my fishing journey. So I just wanted to jump in here and say that if you're looking for a way to jump into tournaments, the club level is probably the best way to start. Um, not all clubs are created the same. And I sort of feel like the art of fishing in a club has kind of been lost now with how good team and regional trails have gotten, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But I think it's good to remember that the clubs are really the foundation of tournament fishing as we know it. So if you guys are looking for a club to jump in, uh, Birmingham Bass Club always has open seats. We would love to have you. Or just kind of Google around your area, see see what bass affiliated clubs are, are out there. Um, and I think you guys would be encouraged and amazed by what things can happen just by joining a club. All right, so I don't exactly know how this worked out, but I actually ended up winning this tournament with the one fish I had. It was two and a half pounds right on the dot, uh, and only one other co-angler was able to weight a fish in, so I was able to win. 
Um, you know, a victory like that doesn't come very often where you just catch one little keeper and, and that's enough. But it was a tough day of fishing. You guys saw, caught a fair amount of fish, just a lot of shorts, lot, uh, you know, 14, 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half inches. Uh, I could not produce that bigger bite, but uh, that one, the one keeper bite I did get, that very first one was enough. So uh, cool to get the win and the first club tournament of the year. Hopefully that uh, that spells good things to come, but good start to the season. Love fishing with the club. Really appreciate all the guys who make that kind of stuff possible for us. Uh, I'm going to end the video now. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button. But till the next video, uh, thanks for watching.